Hey everyone, my name is Heba and welcome back. As you can see, I have a different background here. I'm in the same room, but I kind of turned the table at a different angle. There was a big armoire right here and my daughter finally took it home. So I thought, let me kind of change the angle of my table. I was in front of the window and now the window is to the side. So I'm experimenting with lighting. I have a lighted mirror right here to hopefully give me some light on this side. I have a light on the floor to hopefully give me some backlight here. And let me see, do I need to move this candle over a little bit maybe? <laughs> And I'm gonna get a new nightstand here, but it won't be here until probably the end of January. So I can add some things behind me. But for now, I just have this little table with a couple of candles and some other things that you can't see on camera because it's kind of messy stuff here. But hopefully into the new year, I'll be able to kind of decorate this and kind of figure out lighting and all that good stuff here. But let me know what you think. If you like this background, if the light on this side is too much and I need more on this side or behind me, it's all very new to me, very experimental. But I wanted something a little different than what you were seeing before. Part of the bed, part of the door, part of the dresser. It was just kind of messy all around behind me. Who knows, maybe I might go back into that, but we'll see how this goes and hopefully it works out. I hope everyone's having a great holiday season. I know my upload schedule is going to be kind of off and I know I've been saying that quite a bit too, but there's been a lot of things going on just like I'm sure a lot of things are going on in your life too. And I don't want to bore you with all the things that's been going on, but we had internet problems for three days. We didn't have any internet. We had the tech come out here twice. My husband got a modem, didn't work, or a modem router. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm not very tech savvy, but finally we got the right modem router or whatever it is and it's working. And then right after that, our natural gas was off pretty much in the whole town. Can you believe that? They did say that someone was digging and it busted one of the gas pipelines, which there was no explosion. So I'm thankful for that. So we couldn't cook on our gas stove. We didn't have any hot water in our gas water heater, which is, I know, a first world problem. But we had to deal with that. And I did not know that if the gas is shut off, the gas company with a plumb has to come house to house, door to door, to turn the gas meter back on and to light the pilot lights. So I did not know that. That's the first for us where the gas is turned off like that. And then when they came here to turn the water meter back on, I didn't know that they had to turn it off first. So when that pipeline broke, they had to go to every house to turn off the gas meter. I did not know that. That's what he told me. So they had to go back to the homes to turn the gas meter back on and turn on the pilot lights in our, was it the uh, water heater? Learn something new every day, but I'm thankful no one got hurt. It wasn't a big catastrophe here in our town, like what you've been hearing with these train derailments and all that stuff, but thankfully everything's okay. That's easily fixed. And then my daughter and her husband moved back. They were in Ohio for 18 months and they moved back so that's that's a good thing that's a good thing we're real, real happy that they're close by and since they have their own house i told them okay you need to get all your stuff out of this room because we've been holding it for a while I said finally you can get all your stuff and i can have more space in my closet and in this room and let's see what else oh the engine light did come on my car but it went back off again so I'm not going to do anything to my car until the engine light comes back on and we'll see <laughs> what happens <laughs> as if you didn't need to know all my life problems here but we're amongst friends and it's just something you know that friends talk about things that's going on in our lives and of course it's Christmas season we have all these holiday parties Christmas shopping family coming and all the good things that come with this season and we're planning a big trip after Christmas so hopefully I'll be able to do a travel vlog of that we're going back to Egypt and we're going to different places in Egypt this time and we're taking our kids with us and their spouses so it's gonna be a big trip so I think I'm gonna vlog at least maybe some of it because we love doing travel vlogging. I just think they're just so much fun. Editing them does take a long time, but they're just so fun and we do love to travel. All right, enough of my life story here. Let's go ahead and get into this video and I'm really excited about it because the things that I'm gonna show you are gifts from a wonderful friend here on YouTube. So I just wanna say thank you so much. It was quite surprising for me to open this box and see what's in here. So I got this box in the mail and I opened it up and it was from Sigma. And here's the box. And then I saw this card and it was a birthday card. It came in November and my birthday's in November. Turned 56, yay. <laughs> but it came with a wonderful birthday card. I don't want to read it because I just want to give her some privacy, but I was quite surprised. And then I saw what was in here and it's pretty much the Beauty and the Beast collection from Sigma. And Beauty and the Beast is my favorite all-time Disney movie, the animated one. The live action one is not my favorite, but the animated Beauty and the Beast, I can watch that 
all the time. So first, let me go ahead and let you know what's in this box and then we'll get to playing. So in this collection, there is an eyeshadow palette and we'll open everything up after I let you know what's in this box. There's also a cheek palette in here. Then we have a mini lip set and on the back it says three little lip creams. So we got that all in the beautiful Beauty and the Beast uh, packaging. The Beauty and the Beast brush set. So it looks like there's five brushes with a bag. Can't wait to see what that looks like. And I have used Sigma brushes before. But honestly, this is the first time I've used any of their makeup products. So I know that their brushes are very good, but I'm excited to try the makeup products. So those are the things that were in the Beauty and the Beast collection. And she also sent other things that was also from Sigma, but not part of the collection. We have the Sigma Switch. It's the instant shade remover. I want to say it's something kind of silicone-y where you can rub your brush to kind of get the color off of it to go into another color. That's really neat. A Sigma highlighter in the shade Golden Hour. Oh, an eyeshadow base primer. Renew lip oil and a conditioning lip mask. And then the last thing is this cute little jar and it's the Hydro Melt lip mask. So another lip mask. And does it say what flavor? In Tranquil. So I got all these beautiful products from a wonderful friend here so I thought I might do a video and get ready with me using these products from Sigma. Let me go ahead and open up the brush set first. It does have five brushes here with its own little Beauty and the Beast bag. All right here we have a nice blue kind of glittery bag. Sigma on one side and then the Beauty and the Beast on the other side. And the zipper on one side has a silhouette of Belle and on the back it has I guess that's a Greek letter E or Z. But if you do know what it is let let me know down below. And then here are the brushes. Ooh, I want to see what the handle looks like. So it looks like two face brushes and three eye brushes. Let's start with the face brushes first. This one is the F46, the angled foundation brush. And look at the handle. You can see the emblem there, Beauty and the Beast. And on the other side, I believe it just says the number of the brush, the number and the name of the brush. So I may use this for the foundation. Then we have the F44, the powder sculpt. That does have a pinch Feral, so it's kind of flat on one side. It's very fluffy. And again, it has the Beauty and the Beast emblem with the number and the name of the brush on the other side. Then we have the E24, the Diffused Blend Brush. Again, it has a pinch ferrule. Not as fluffy as the powdered brush, but again, this is what it looks like with the emblem there, Beauty and the Beast. Then we have the E55, the Eye Shading Brush, and I have this one. It's very nice. It's kind of like a flat shader brush. Again, pinched on one side, it's flat. And the last one's E15, the flat definer brush. Ooh, this is quite soft too. So it's very flat, very stiff. So you can use this as an eyeliner. So I'll definitely be using these brushes. I love the bag. It's a nice little clutch too. Let me go ahead and open up the instant shade remover because I'll probably be using that. So I can kind of use the same brush and switch the shades. Oh, that feels very funky and I like that. Look at that. <laughs> it's kind of a football shape, oval shape. And I hope you can see that it has different type of bristles there. Depends on the brush that you use, I believe. And then here's the other side. So I think both sides are the same. So it says the ingenious double-sided matte features soft silicone textures designed to gently pull liquid cream or powder pigments from your brush bristles without using water or instant brush cleaners. Okay. And then this one retails for $19 and the brush set retails for $89. And of course, Sigma always has sales. So if you're interested in any Thing, always get it on sale. Now let's look at this eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette features 14 romantic hues in matte, shimmer, glitter, and metallic finishes. Each beautiful shade was inspired by your favorite characters, songs, and moments from Disney's masterpiece Beauty and the Beast. With a matching dual-ended brush included, it's certain as the sun rising in the east that all your looks will be flawless. So it does have cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure. And then there is this cute little plastic cover with Beauty and the Beast with the roses there. And then here are the shades in this palette with some embossing in there from Beauty and the Beast. And it does come with a brush and it looks to be dual sided, double sided. It's kind of like a flat shader brush here that's a little bit more fluffier than the one that we have in that brush kit. 
and more of a fluffier one on this side. So let me go ahead and pull you in closer and let's do some live swatches. So it does say that there are 14 shades in here that are inspired by our favorite characters, songs, and moments from Beauty and the Beast. And I know when I swatch it, I'm gonna ruin the embossing here because I think on the mats, yes, on the mats, there is an embossing of a character from the movie, like this brown shade. There's Cogsworth, I believe that's Bell, Mrs. Potts, and I believe that one just says Sigma. You have a library book, I believe that's Beast, and then the mirror. So I like that they pay attention to details here. So the first shade here is called Little Town. You know, the one that she sings in the beginning of the movie? Love that song. So this one's a warm almond metallic. Okay, that one swatched very nicely. And the next one is Cogsworth, because we could see his embossing in that. That's an antique wood brown matte. Next is Winter's Night, a snow white glitter. Then we have the one with the embossing of Belle, and that one's called Belle, and that's an amber gold metallic. Kinda looks like the dress that she wears. Oh, I love that yellow gown that she wears in that movie. That's one thing I didn't like about the live action one. The dress was just kind of, I don't know, it wasn't, or it didn't have that wow factor. Cause I remember when I first saw that movie and she comes down the stairs in that yellow gown. I know it's an animation, I know. But that one was just a beautiful gown. I remember going, wow. But in the live action one, I didn't get that feeling when she walked out in that yellow gown. Next we have Runaway, it's a deep forest brown matte. The one with Mrs. Potts is called Potts and it's a vibrant purple metallic. All right, let's see, let's swatch that one a little bit better. There we go. And the last one on the first row is Rose Petal Luxe Pink Shimmer. Then we have this rich dark one, it's called Forbidden. I can hear Beast's voice. Saying it's forbidden, don't go into the West Wing. <laughs> But this is a darkest brown matte. Okay, that one has a little bit of a gray, cool undertone to it. Next is Bookwarm, a tawny leather brown matte. Be Our Guest, Gilded Gold Metallic. Then we have Beast, which is a dark royal blue matte. Ooh. Then we have Enchantress, bronze green brown metallic. Ego, a fire brick red matte. And then the last one is My Share, I believe that's My Dear. But it's a deep fuchsia matte. Matte. That looks metallic to me. <laughs> so I think that's a typo. And let's just put you right here. All right. So here are the shades in the Beauty and the Beast eyeshadow palette. Okay, I don't wanna go for a purple look because I've been doing a lot of purples lately. But I wanna try some of the browns and the blue and either this green or the bronze. I don't know, we'll see. But let's go ahead and use this eyeshadow base primer. Let's see what it looks like too. And I believe it's in the shade Persuade. Let me look online to get some information about this. So it looks like there are four shades in this base primer and I have in the shade Persuade. So let's swatch this one. Okay, it comes in a stick form. It's more of a pink base. It does say it has eight hour wear, use on the face and eyes, crease resistant, fade resistant, built-in sharpener and twist up applicator. Okay, the built-in sharpener is at the other end. That's nice. All right, so let me go ahead and apply this to my lids. It's very creamy and blend it out. Now let's go into the E24 and I'm gonna go into this shade Cogsworth. And then just apply that in my crease. Okay, that was nice and easy. The brush is soft. You just kind of build it up here. And because this one does have a pinched ferrule, so it's flat on one side. So I'm getting the longer side to give me more of a wider color base here. Let me take the switch thing here and take the pigment off of this brush. All right, good. Now let me use this brush that comes with this palette and go into the shade Ego. Let's see, yeah, this one right here. And let me just kind of pack that in the outer corner. Oh, that is pigmented. Probably should not have picked up that much. <laughs> okay, then we turn it around and just kind of fluff it out. Okay, actually that looks very pretty. I like those shades together. Now using the E55, the flat shader brush, and let's go into this green shade Enchantress. And let's place you in the middle. Let me use my finger to see if it'll give me a little bit more oomph. Oh yeah. Easily could have done it without using my finger, but I just wanted to see how it works with using my finger. Now let's go into Winter's Night and place that in the inner corner. 
to bring that in too. Fuse those shades together. This one's more like a shadow topper, actually, which isn't bad. Now let me go into the shade Runway, or Runaway, Runaway, using the E24 and just kind of pack the outer corner with this shade. Let me deepen up the outer corner just a little bit more and let's go into this shade Forbidden. It's forbidden. Using the brush that was with this palette, just a little bit in the outer corner, just a little. I do want to use that navy blue shade Beast underneath my eyes. Let's see here, I do see some fallout here, but I believe it's from that uh, shade I used in the inner corner, Winter's Night. And let me just clean up here and I'll come back and let's put some foundation on with the foundation brush. I already primed my face and put concealer on so this video won't be too long and I'll list everything down below. But for foundation, let's go into this one by Chanel, the Ultra Latent Velvet Foundation. And this one's in the shade B50. Now let's use this foundation brush, the E46. Oh yeah, very soft on the face. Foundation looks good, what do you think? But now let's go into the E15, the flat definer, and let's go into the shade Beast. I want to line underneath my eyes with this royal blue shade. All right, looks good. Gave me some definition there underneath my eyes. I'm going to use that switch pad here. And let me go ahead and line the top lash line. And I want to use the shade Forbidden. And let's see if that would work. So let me go ahead and do my brows off camera and mascara. And I may use maybe a blue liner for my waterline. And then we'll come back and play with the cheek palette and the lipsticks or lip creams. Now let's go into the cheek palette, same packaging with the beautiful roses. And then here's what the back looks like. There's something sweet about this limited edition cheek palette featuring two universally flattering blushes and an illuminating highlighter inspired by your favorite characters, songs, and moments from Disney's masterpiece, Beauty and the Beast. Same type of packaging, it does include this little cover with the same Beauty and the Beast and the roses. And then you open it up and it has three shades in here, two blushes and a highlighter. And I hope you can see the beautiful embossing there. You have Beauty and the Beast dancing. You have Lumiere for the highlighter, very fitting. And then the vase with the rose. So let's go ahead and swatch the two blushes first. This one's something sweet. Okay, this one looks a little corally. Oh, I thought I got all the swatches off my arm. <laughs> and then the other one is Beauty Within. It's more like a, like a brownish rose. And let's swatch Lumiere, the highlighter. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it does come with a mirror, so let me go ahead and bend that back. And using this brush, E44, and let's go into this one first, Beauty Within. All right, picked it up. Oh, that's pretty. All right, let me just blend that out. Yeah, it didn't look that pigmented when I swatch it. That's pretty. Now let me use the other side of that brush and let's go into something sweet. Oh, okay, yeah. Let me use the switch to take some of that powder off. Now let me apply that. I kind of like something sweet. That's very pretty. Oh yeah, that's very pretty. Yeah, I did go heavy handed with this one. Let me clean the brush. Just hopefully blend that out a little bit more. Yeah, these are pigmented blushes. Wow. So let me use this brush from Wayne Goss. All right. I'm scared now, it might be pigmented, so that's why I kind of went light-handed. Yeah, I think you can see things better on this side because of the window. Maybe I might move back to where I was. We'll see. Let me show you the other highlighter she gave me, and it's Golden Hour. This one's not in the collection, the Beauty and the Beast collection. So it just looks like the box with that mirror, kind of gold packaging. Oh, this one came broken, but it's still okay. It'll still work. Yeah, it came broken. So again, this is Golden Hour and it's a warm amber. Oh, that's pretty. You think I should go ahead and try it? Let me try it. All right, this one has warm amber. Ooh, that's pretty. Let me do it on this side so you can hopefully see a little bit better. Now let's go into the mini lip set. I'll go ahead and swatch all three. Let me show you the packaging first. It comes in a clear tube with Beauty and the Beast right there. And on the back, I believe it just says Sigma with a gold cap. And let's see, anything on the top? No, nothing on the top. This one's Bonjour and it's a soft pink creamy sheen. So here's what that one looks like. It does have a nice sheen to it. Okay, 
And here it is on my lips. It's very comfortable on the lips. It's not thick, it's not drying. You know, I like the shade, it's kind of like a light pinky nude. Now let's go into Spellbound, and this one's a neutral pink creamy sheen. I like this color better than Bonjour. Yeah, I like this one. So far, I like this one. And then the last one is Adventure. Ooh, this one's a little bit deeper. And it is a deep rosy cream sheen. So again, we have Bonjour, Spellbound, and Adventure. This one looks more like my lip color. Ooh, I like this one too. Yeah, I like the second one and this one. Spellbound and Adventure. Bonjour is pretty too. I think for my skin tone, these look very nice. Let me show you the other three products. Now again, these were not in the Beauty and the Beast collection. So this one's the Renew Lip Oil. So you can see it's just a clear lip oil. And this one's in the shade Hush. It's got a big doe foot applicator. Don't think you can see the color, but at least you can see the oilness of it. it. Does say it's enriched with jojoba oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E. And the next is the conditioning lip mask. Okay, this one comes in a two. Ooh, it comes with the metal applicator, cooling for the lips. And you can kind of see it does come kind of clear. So you can kind of see it's just another clear oil there. And this one's enriched with hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and jojoba oil. Very nice. And then we have this tube, this lip mask. The Hydra Melt Lip Mask. Okay, and there it is. Kind of a peachy color. So yeah, there it is. So I'm gonna try these lip oils at night and in the morning to see how it works. But so far, this lip cream on my lips, very comfortable on. I do like this color. Well, all right, here is the finished look using Sigma's Beauty and the Beast collection. I have to say the eyeshadow looks very pretty. Wow, I like this look. And the matte shades that I place in the outer corner and in the crease, very pretty. It's not drying, it's kind of smoothing on my lids too. And I do like the shades in here, very pretty. Of course they did mess up with, I think it was just a typo. This one is a metallic, not a matte. I do like the shades in here, it's kind of different. You have some neutrals, some cools, and some warm tones in here. Blues, purples, pinks, golds, I really do like it. Just kind of reminds me of Beauty and the Beast, the movie. The brushes, love Sigma brushes. They are very good quality synthetic brushes. And the bag is just so cute. I like that it says Sigma here, but I really like that it says Beauty and the Beast on this side. And let's see, what does it look like inside? Oh, it has that beautiful yellow gold fabric in here, kind of like her dress. Oh my gosh, didn't see that. And it has silhouettes of Beauty and the Beast dancing. And it has the Beast's castle. And I don't know if you can see Cogsworth. Earth, Lumiere and Mrs. Potts in there. I believe it's right there. Oh, I like this. I like this. And the eye base, I kind of like it. Now, when I was washing the swatches off on this arm, I tried to swatch off the swatch of the eye base and it's still there. And I do like that it gives me a little bit of color, kind of brightens it up a little bit. Now, I don't know if it creases or if it's long lasting. We'll try that and I'll let y'all know. The eye primer is not bad. I may check and see what other colors they have. Let's see the cheek palette. Let me tell you, these blushes are pigmented. They are pigmented. I'll play with these some more, but so far I kind of like something sweet. This rosy one or the corally one. And I do like the embossing in here. I hope that y'all can see it. And the lip creams, very nice. I do like the colors and it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. And it's very comfortable on the lips. Don't feel like that it's on my lips. And this highlighter, Golden Hour. I'm a little upset that it came broken, but it happens. I just kind of pressed it in and hopefully that will work. I do like that amber shade. And the switch, I mean, you kind of see that I use it. I have to read about to see how I can clean it, but it did take the pigment off the brushes. And then the other lip products, I need to try those. I can't try all the lip products here for you right now because I want to try the lip colors for you, but I'll let you know if they're moisturizing and hydrating for my lips. And I think that is it. Yeah, I think that is it, but really do like this look. Very pretty. And I love the packaging of the Beauty and the Beast collection. I mean, I love it. Thank you so much. And again, you know who you are. Thank you for this wonderful birthday birthday present. Thank you so much. And I love Beauty and the Beast. Well, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of me trying the Sigma Beauty and the Beast collection that was gifted to me from a wonderful friend. And hopefully I can get the lighting and the things behind me situated. And please forgive me if the lighting can be off. I know, I know. I'm not very tech savvy. <laughs> So please bear with me. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.